so hello guys so in my last video i showed you how to upload and uh, upload your emails into your email lists yes we created an email list and we called it uh, test four so now the next thing you're going to do having created that your email list is to run an email campaign yes sending email using smtp is called campaign normally you know some persons you can call it the uh, email sending or whatever but it is primarily email campaign you can see how it's showing here from the dashboard you see list the next one is campaigns the wrong campaign so here you just click on your uh, campaigns you will see all campaigns so in this you are you click on the uh, all campaigns all campaigns you see it's showing here we we already i already have many that is that is existing so you are creating a new one you just go ahead and click on create new create new so here you must give your campaign a name you must give your campaign a name so what am i doing here let me let me still give it test four still give it test four because i do i'm doing this for this particular uh, uh lecture so you come here to choose that list yes this email this smtp gives you that opportunity to choose your list so that it can connect with your campaign so you click here and then whatever you use in saving your email list you choose it here because it must show so let me scroll down scroll down call it test test four test four let's ask this is it test four so you save and next now you are here to set up your campaign so first and foremost you must give your campaign a name this name is where the camp the email is coming from you know when you receive email it must definitely show who is sending this email is that mr a or mr b or company c or company d so it must show so that when your when your client receive it they won't be confused where this email is coming from if you are running your email and people don't know you you must give it a name a recognizable name either you use your company name so here i'm leaving it with this company name that i'm you are using and then you give it a subject newsletter uh, weekly newsletter subject you give it a subject we decide to say um this week bonanza this week bonanza so you come here campaign options campaign options open tracking yes it has to let it track the url tracking yes let it track embed images yes i want to embed images um, plain test email leave it yes but i'm making it no so that i'll be able to write my own uh, my own test save and next good you see the format the way the platform the way the environment is just like normal microsoft say i mean a microsoft word you can even copy your messages from microsoft and paste here uh, to save your time so you give it you give it template name i will say tests for so here yeah, you now prepare your your test and say because it's bonanza i say hooray you know, something like this this week then persons would get get 50 50 dollars discount from all our sales get involved get involved just leave it there. i'm just this is just an example you can put whatever you want to put there so the next you, have, you scroll down and then you save and next 
so that you're able to send so wow this is a campaign confirmation you have to confirm what you're sending campaign name se uh, list so segment is it test from name reply to uh, to name I, I left it i left it for email the subject this week bonanza so i haven't done this you just try send campaign so the moment you click on this send campaign the email begin to to send immediately and you will see you will see the the campaign the way it runs you see the campaign the way it runs like let me say like this one you, you see how the campaign runs you will see the, how many persons that have opened it the number of clicks if you embedded any link in your email you will definitely see it here that is how that is how you prepare your mails and then it will send haven't done this this is how you prepare your emails so in my next video i will show you how you can get emails how you can get valid emails for your email marketing